హలో టెకీస్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ యూ ఐ బాత్ బై సుజిత ఐఎమ్ సో సారీ ఫర్ ద లాంగ్ వెయిట్ అండ్ డిలే ఇన్ డెలివరింగ్ దీస్ వీడియోస్ డ్యూ టు సమ్ పర్సనల్ హెల్త్ ఇష్యూస్ ఐ కుడ్ నాట్ ఏబుల్ టు డూ ది వీడియోస్ ఆన్ యూ ఐ బాత్ దీస్ డేస్ సో నౌ ఆల్ గుడ్ సో లెట్స్ బీ బ్యాక్ అండ్ లెట్ ఎస్ స్టార్ట్ లర్నింగ్ యూ ఐ పాత్ త్రూ దీస్ వీడియోస్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు uh show few details on the watch panel which is available in debug mode so let us see in detail what is this watch panel is all about and how to use this watch panel so this is a special panel which is available which is visible only when you start your process in debug mode okay so what is this watch panel we use can be used to watch the values of a variable or arguments or expressions during debugging your code okay so this is clear so how to use this i'll explain you and how uh, i mean i'll show you how it look like uh, looks like and uh, what are the uh, options available in watch panel how to add or how to use this i'll show you in detail for that what i'm going to do is i just created a project where uh, i'm reading some data from an excel file so i have an excel file a simple one this is going to be a simple read range uh, i mean uh, reading data from an excel file kind of automation so here i have three columns first name last name and annual pay where i just added some three rows for testing purpose so what it is doing what this particular uh, uh, excel file doing it is reading data from the excel file and uh, framing the full name and monthly pay based on the annual pay and uh, framing full name based on first name and last name so let me show you how it is working so i'm just running the file for now so since the excel contains john as first name and david as last name the automation our code is combining the first name and second name and giving a full name as john david okay next monthly pay this is what the monthly pay based on the annual pay okay this is next row james kathy and their monthly pay so this is a very simple flow where we are going to debug this in order to understand the watch panel okay as i said watch panel is visible only during debug mode for that what we are going to do i'm just creating a breakpoint on this activity do you remember how how to set a breakpoint either we can right click on the activity and use toggle breakpoint or directly go to breakpoints option in debug mode okay so this is how we can set a breakpoint now when i start this when i run this file using debug file option it will start debugging each and every activity and it will break the execution at this particular breakpoint fine so let me start this debugging option so if you see it has stopped it has paused the uh, what to say execution at this particular activity now let us concentrate on our agenda watch panel if you see here in the left side watch panel there's a panel called watch where you can see expression type and value so this is all this is what we are going to learn about okay how to use this during debug mode and what is the use of it what is the use of it we already covered we can use this to watch the values of a variable 
or an argument or an expression okay so let me show you how to add a variable to this panel if you see if you observe this there is an option say add watch okay add watch when i click on this it enables you to add a variable or an argument or an expression in this free text so let us consider a variable which is nothing but our str full name so initially its value is null so now you can understand expression field is what is talking about the field which you are going to watch whether it is a variable or an expression or an argument anything and type is nothing but the data type of this particular this field okay and the value okay corresponding to this field now this is one option how to add a variable or an argument or an expression into watch panel one more process is there that is using variables or arguments panel so when you click on variables and when you say when you right click on a particular variable you can have add watch option available okay when you click on add watch it will come and sit here in watch panel fine similarly in arguments also when you right click on a particular argument and you can see add watch option there from there you can add that particular argument to this watch panel list so quickly make a note of this how to use how to add so first option is can add a variable or an argument or an expression using add watch option in watch panel okay this is all during debug mode only don't forget this don't get confused and don't try to uh, search for this during normal design mode okay and the other option is use variables or arguments panel right click on a variable or argument and use add watch option okay this is also during debug mode okay now let us see how to add a expression so simple same way use an expression so what i am going to do i am going to add a str first name plus str last name as one expression okay and this automatically been converted as string based on the data types of these two variables okay similarly i'll add one more expression say int monthly pay divided by 4 so this is going to give the weekly pay of a employee okay so if you see the type been automatically been converted right so that's the purpose of watch okay and value also if you see this been uh, gave, given as null automatically by default and zero and empty and zero by default now let us see how it is going to work fine so all clear right and i request you to do this to practice this along with me so that you'll never never forget and you will not get any doubts when you really start implementing this approach okay so fine now when i say step into just just keep an eye on this value okay this part step into superb right all been changed 
what does this mean you are going to watch the values how it is going to change during the debug mode say for example when you keep an eye when you watch when you start watching this variable how it is getting converted how it is going to change is what you can see using this watch panel okay now if you see here full name is what been taken from this assign activity right yeah next monthly pay has already been yes this one this one so monthly pay is already been taken from the code itself next first name is all uh, see this is an expression right we we created this expression say for example first name plus last name so this i am going to change right i mean i mean to say i i have given this first name plus last name so it it is it's been automatically calculated and given similarly monthly pay divided by 4 also been automatically calculated in watch panel itself and been provided here it is not taken from the code right it's not available in the code okay now when i when i change a value here let me let me give this as let me change this to 30 days see the value been automatically changed okay so this is how we can play with the variables and arguments or using some expressions to understand how the uh, values been modified according to the logic okay say for example i want the full name instead of the space i just want underscore or if 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 i want to remove this uh, what to say the space what should i do i should i just want to see how it looks like so for that what i am going to do i am going to add some hyphen here and would like to see here see this is how and maybe if it this makes a, a very huge difference if it is a very big uh, logic say for example instead of considering the monthly pay i am going to consider the annual pay in order to calculate this so in that case i am going to edit this using int annual pay 365 days fine so this is going to be the single day payment okay so this is how we can utilize the watch panel in order to find in order to watch keep an eye on the values how the value of different arguments or an expression or the variables is going to change throughout the code okay so i hope you got a clear understanding on this watch panel and if you have uh, any doubts on this we can cover those through our next videos thank you so much for your interest so far